dear friends in this video we will learn how to generate id automatically in c sharp using sql server 2008 let's see here i just run the form when i run the form the employee id should be generated automatically for that Sorry. SQL data adapter here select is null max of cost here employee ID we are generating that field name as integer int comma zero plus one from table name employee Here we declared employee ID as integer cost of maximum. Uh, we are checking the maximum uh, max of employee ID number that exists in the employee table. Whether the employee ID is null means the maximum will be zero. Otherwise, it will be added with one. Now we have to display the generated ID in text box for that data table. dt equal to new data table sda dot fill dt text box one dot text equal to dt dot row Now we will check it. One error. Okay, you are seeing employee ID displayed as record one. Right click show da table data. There is no records. That's why the gen employee ID generated as one. Now again run the form employee ID one. So see here in this I can enter num. Letter number like this. So I have to set this text box as read only. For that, go to designer form, view designer, select this te text box. Here read only. Yes, read only. Set true. now we can make any changes here that's why we set read only as true okay when i load the form the cursor point will be focus on employee name for that in the load event text box 2 dot focus not working this dot 
active control equal to text box 2 ok it's working now I enter the record ok now I can enter only 10 digits if I click the insert button the record inserted su successfully that displayed ok now again run the form the employee ID generated automatically as 2 ok uh, this code I have to write for new button when I click the new button that record uh, ID will be generated automatically for that I just copy this Now check it. When I click the new button, that uh, employee ID two, employee name. record inserted successfully when you click the new button rec employee ID generated as 3 like this we can generate the employee ID or any other ID in use using SQL server ok thank you for watching this video